What's up everybody, it's Josh here at Andrew by Guitars and today we are going to learn how to play bar chords because everybody hates playing bar chords because they're hard and they hurt your hand. I don't like playing bar chords but let's learn, let's do it. Alright, let me see. Alright, so the first thing we're going to learn is just how to bar on two strings. Um, so if you look, the very first thing that we do, the very first thing we do is play on the third fret. You're going to lay your index finger across the third fret on the first string and second string, like that. All right. Then you're going to play one note at a time, and then play both together. Okay. Now. The next thing that you'll see are the four different bar chord shapes that we're going to use throughout this exercise. We're going to use the sixth string major and minor bar chords, and then we're going to use starting on the fifth string major and minor bar chords. Look like this. Major. Sorry. First is minor. Then major. All right. The next one is going to be major on the fifth string and then minor starting on the fifth string and I'm doing those in that order just because it works out physically a little bit better minor major major minor anyway um, so the first thing we're going to practice is uh, with your index finger we're going to go up starting at the third fret and go all the way up to the twelfth fret and the music, I didn't go all the way up to the 12th fret, just because it's a little redundant. It's the same thing. And you'll kind of feel when you do it, like, oh, I get it. We're going to do this all the way up with one finger. Like this. Alright. Um, so... That's, uh, that's where we start out. Now, you want to do that with each of your fingers, because at some point in some type of chord playing, you're going to bar it with all four of your fingers. Not at the same time, because I don't think that's possible. But you're going to use your index bar as well as all the way through. I don't think many people use their pinky to bar, but I've used it for the major chord just because it feels a little bit better to me. It's a little bit more comfortable in my hand. So, you know, you'll find what's comfortable for you. Um, the main thing is that you get all the notes out, right? All right, so after the single notes, we're gonna do two strings barred together. One finger at a time. Do the same thing with your middle finger. Same with the single notes. Use each finger. Ring. Pinky. Alright? Oh. Alright. The next thing we do is lay our finger down across three strings for the minor shape here. One note at a time. Move it up. And the exercise is just to move up to the 12th fret. Do that with all of your fingers again because it's good for you. Take your time and go slow. I just don't. Why would I? You know, this is just a demonstration. Go slow, take your time, get each note out. That's the main thing, not to be fast. It's just you're not going to want to sit and listen to me go. That's how you want to do it at first. After that, practice barring and playing all three strings under that bar at a time. Starting with your index finger. Then middle. Then ring. And pinky. And if you hear some of those weird notes, 
Um, any open strings you have, they ring out sympathetically with the notes, so sound a little funky sometimes. Four strings, so you, you're gonna hold that bar under your index finger, and then you're gonna plant your ring finger down. All right, so now we have four strings. And it's okay if this takes you a little while. Now here, obviously, we're just gonna use ring and then bar the index. You don't need to use your other different fingers for this exercise, just ring and then bar with your index, all the way up to 12. probably guess what's next. We're going to put down the fifth string. And take that all the way to the fifth fret. Now you can put your ring finger down on the fifth string right above your pinky. And so if you can do this and you can do it consistently, then you're about ready to put your index finger down on the sixth string and bar across all six strings with your index finger. It's a little tense on your left hand, so just give it some time, go through the other exercises as many times as you need to until you can finally do this. And then go through all six strings, individually picked. Alright, and then also play the chords as one. You'll repeat the same process for the major chords, and you'll see on the tabs um, you know, it's listed. I'm not going to go through all the major chords to um, on the sixth string because it's really the same. It's just, you know, how the shape looks like that. Well, you got to use your middle finger here. Right? So, start out two strings, then three strings, then four strings, then five. So next we have chords starting on the fifth string. Where I started here is sort of where the bar occurs, um, which is going to be on your ring finger. So for measure 33 and the exercise following that on 35, use your ring finger for these barred notes and, um, and move your ring finger up towards the 12th fret like this. So this is going to be measure 33. Here's the major chord form and the minor. We're going to start out with the two string bar on the B string and the G string, starting on the fifth fret, and go up to the twelfth fret using your ring finger. So on and so forth. You can also practice with your other fingers, but for the chords, you're going to really need your ring finger to be strong, and it's kind of not that easy. So practice your ring finger. Right? Next, playing the two notes at a time as a chord. And just take that all the way up to the 12th fret. And you'll notice I'm doing something that I don't, or, and you will be doing something that I really don't like on guitar, and that's when you're barring something or playing something and your finger kind of bends like that. For me, it, I, can't, I can't not do that when I'm playing bar chords like this. It's just what happens. So, that's one reason I don't like playing bar chords, it's, it's, it doesn't feel too good. Um, but it's alright, we gotta play bar chords sometimes, right? Um, so here we go. So, after you get two strings, of course we're doing three strings. All with that ring finger bar. Then, complete the chord, you're gonna put your index finger down on the fifth string, third fret, so three, five, five, five. And I put an X here uh, on the first chord shape because you just kind of mute that. It's really tough to get that note down underneath of your ring finger bar. It just doesn't hinge that way very well. So it just kind of naturally cuts off that top note and that's fine. And what I do is kind of push my index finger up so that it touches the sixth string. And I'll mute that too. And then all you get is the chord you're holding down. 
and you can strum it really hard and you don't have to worry about having these open strings sound like garbage. So yeah, that's your major form. Now to me the minor form on uh, the fifth string is a lot easier. So here, here's that. You have index, ring, pinky, middle, and then bar that index. That's the shape. And with this minor shape, I didn't bother um, kind of going two strings and then three strings and then four strings and then five. I feel like by the time you've got to this part of the exercise, you pretty much know how to practice this. So if you want to start two strings at a time, practice that. So those two strings and fingers would be middle finger and index. All right, but by this point, your hand might be a little bit stronger and you might be able to just hold down those bar chords. So that's what I would just move this bar chord shape all the way up to the 12th fret. Okay, and then of course you're gonna strum it. All right, so yeah, that's that's how I would practice bar chords, and that's how um, that's probably the easiest way to learn and train your fingers to get to where they need to be. Um, whether or not you use bar chords a lot, you're gonna need to bar sometimes, and yeah, it might help you come up with some cool ideas. Um, so yeah. So yeah, and now that way you don't have to always use open chords either. Because a lot of my lessons lately have been trying to move people out of this part of the guitar and going on up the neck and having some more fun. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you for bearing with my orange toboggan and uh, my hair growing out. It's been a little while since we've jammed, so um, it's good to be back. And I hope to be bringing you guys a lot more videos this year. In 2022, my awesome son, whom I love, broke my very good camera. So here we are with a slightly less high quality camera. But hey, we're going to make do. I'm going to get me a new camera here around uh, tax season. And uh, we'll be rocking out. All right. Appreciate you guys and shoot me an email josh at andrewwhiteguitars.com if you have any questions about bar chords or guitar or if you'd like to set up private lessons. Alright, thanks guys.